fucking prepared. back. <laughs> We're never fucking prepared. <laughs> What's up, guys? You know. How about that last pod? I got way too high. I mean, I was pretty stoned, too. I tried watching it, and two seconds into it, I seen my laugh, and I was like, God damn, what am I doing? <laughs> I turned that shit off in a heart. No wonder we got six views. <laughs> Honestly. I, Fucking, not, uh, I was not able to listen to that at all. No, you, you lost that. You, you lost that one. I mean, you really weren't doing too bad, maybe? I don't know. I was doing I mean, pretty we're just bad. bullshit, and it's not like I'm trying to do good out here, but it's like Sometimes you just listen back and say, like, fuck, what am I doing? I sound like fucking dog shit. Yeah. But it's okay, you know? Yeah. Because everybody has those thoughts. Honestly. <laughs> but, yeah. All right. Well, how about our boy Mitch McConnell at it again? Somebody unplugged him. <laughs> what the fuck? He needs to just fucking call it quits. That shit's sad, actually. It's weird. But jokes it's aside, like, it's it's like genuinely sad. It feels like a like it's fake. But you know it's not. He like you know well, he's just old as fuck. Do you think he shits his pants when that happened? Yeah, he's probably sitting there, he That's he's, crazy. he's probably he's probably sitting there like I have so much shit in my fucking drawers. <laughs> that seems to be a topic that I need to start bringing up just Shitty pants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that's two times in a row now. But no, yeah, that, that's, no, but he's that's a sad thing to see. He's yeah, fucking he's, the he's, head. He's got like dementia. He's not like sick. He's like, I mean, yeah, he's that's old. being sick, but yeah, that's just deteriorating. You know, yeah. he's deteriorating in front of all of us. And he's making, <laughs> he's he, he's making big decisions. Is he though? I don't know. Probably not. He doesn't know what's going on. If in the past two years people haven't come to the determination that someone else is calling the shots, I don't know. Like, do you think Joe Biden's out here calling shots? Probably is. Yeah, I'm not. Maybe, maybe for certain things. There's no way he's reading shit and sitting down and going over shit and. Yeah, the way that like he'll <laughs> just yeah. lose it. He'll the way he'll sound like me and you. Yeah, I know. Trying to talk here. <laughs> Fuck, dude. I feel like this next presidential cycle is gonna be insane. Yeah, that shit's just bonkers. It's so crazy to believe that what we are like experiencing now has just never been. No one's ever seen that shit before. Honestly, like before, it was like we had a reputable presidents. I mean, seemingly, yeah, someone normal through dudes t- through T. I don't. Maybe it's just internet. Maybe we can just see more. Maybe this shit was kind of going on when it was TV only, and people just didn't see everything. But there's no way because this shit's I don't crazy. I feel like after Obama, shit got weird. Well, the thing was like, yeah, after Obama, but like, that was the last normal one because when, fucking hate to say it, when Trump, like, and Hillary started with the digs, you know what I mean? When it was just like. When Trump was going off. Shit talking. (laughs) That's when it became like, policies and everything became second to just like, who can talk shit better? Yeah, exactly. (laughs) And I mean. And to the, some of the shit was disrespectful. Yeah, to like the everyday viewers. Didn't Trump say Ted like, Cruz's wife looks like a pig? Dude, that man did say some crazy shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's just He's probably the only one that said the crazy shit on the mic. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude, he was letting it fly. That's the thing. Yeah, like presidents before him probably did say shit like that. It's just he knew there was no barrier between the internet and then his debate. So it's just like what he posts on Twitter is what he's gonna say in a conference or what the fuck like Yeah. He was he real filtered it. He was real yeah. as fuck. Yeah. Now it's just I feel like we have this slander party going on between whoever just wants to run up there. Now yeah. it's 
hate to say it, he just opened the floodgates on that shit. <laughs> like, oh yeah. Crazy. Fucking dude. Oh, tell me about <laughs> <laughs> he's coming back. Daddy's coming home. <laughs> How about uh this whole vape vape accusation? Oh yeah. For those of you doing who don't know, did you see this article? Eric Gilbert, former what did it say? He played for Georgia. He played and for I think he was, Georgia and he was going transferred to Nebraska. Yeah, to Nebraska, yeah. Which is supposed to be like a good move for his career, people yeah. were saying. I don't know. But got caught busting into a vape shop, liquor vape store, stealing like just under two grand worth of items. I guess yeah, sixteen hundred dollars. Sixteen hundred. That's that's a lot of fun. Like, how do you even do you just go in there and just stuff? <sighs> Well, the funny part is, is, like, it's probably not that hard of a heist. And yeah, he got if you're caught. getting a couple bucks worth of shit, but when you're going he in there getting $1,600, that's, like, boxes. Got... And it's not like they looked at cameras. They, like, caught him, I'm pretty sure. I think they caught him red-handed. Like, he failed. <laughs> the heist failed. Do you think, <laughs> Do you think he thought, like, what? what would he need $1,600 worth of shit for? I mean... Going going to you think he's flipping them? He's probably he's like showing up to, to fucking Nebraska with a ton of stuff. It did say liquor and vape. When I first seen the headline, it just said vape store. Maybe it was because he was only stealing vapes, but he could have been stealing a bunch of liquor too. Which yeah, like that racks up pretty quick. Probably double vapes do too. You can you can grab like a handful like that. I bet that's close to five hundred bucks. You know what I mean? True. I bet a book bag's <laughs> quickly sixteen hundred bucks. He's up to no good. That's crazy. Eric Gilbert, the vape god. <laughs> what that? He'll be all right. Is and then that uh, video. We... What's that? Vape oh, Nation. yeah. He's in. He's in the clinker, just throwing up vape nation right now. He's in the, the county jail. Has to stay there for twenty four hours for stealing vapes and booze. Repping his set. Imagine his first call to his parents. Mom, I fucked up. I fucked up big time. Yeah, for real. <laughs> nah. I'm pretty sure they probably called him. Was like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is wrong with you? Vapes, though. You know, it tastes good. Oh, uh, cheers to that. Hit it. So I sent Kyle this video of this chick who got caught who got caught cheating. Oh yeah, that's classic. I've seen that before, I'm pretty sure. And then she gets uh she gets a little upset. Yeah, mad. She got mad and started does the classic I'm gonna hurt myself. And uh she hurt herself. A little face. Oh, did you face leave her like that? She, yeah. Yeah, and she was just Smashed her head on the apartment complex <laughs> for everyone to see. Everyone saw it, heard it, felt it. Probably is hard. And then she got floor. caught. She got caught doing that. First thing she does is double bird to the camera. Fuck you! I didn't even say anything, babe. I promise. I don't call me babe. Ooh, get spit on. You got a new bro. I didn't do shit. I put that on my mom's dead grave. Guys, I didn't guys. do shit, get please fucked. don't! Get off, we don't want crybabies, bye. <laughs> Alright, I'm getting a knife, bro. <laughs> hey! Oh my god, you recorded it. That fucking rec- <laughs> Sorry to say it, bitch. Hey, what's your name? Say hi to Facebook! Gang gang! <laughs> Alright, hey, hey! What would you do if someone caught you like that, you know? Oh yeah, I- I- I don't know. I'd probably just say fuck it. I'm going all the way in. Just don't and lie. There's out, out of the camera, out of the pan of the camera. There's definitely a couple holes in your wall, about head level. Oh, back there. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. Boom. <laughs> fuck. Yeah. Oh, damn. We know. We know. I thought I was gonna be a fucking millionaire. <laughs> this is episode fucking nineteen. 
I'm making myself look like a fucking dumbass. Putting holes in my wall. It's our job, you know. How old do you think they were? They had to have been like 12, 13. No, no, they were like older. They were like 16, 17. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm saying that was their apartment. She was down yeah. bad, dude. She just had a fucking bad. I look like a little rough spot. Yeah, it's a rough little patch right there, yeah. you know? Someone caught her at her worst. Exactly. Really. On camera, happened? that's. Yeah, it fucking happens to everybody. Be like that sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta take seven or eight hits to the head. To realize that you fucked up and you lost everything. <laughs> nah, that's wild. Dude, I remember when I was a kid and I'd get pissed. I would like fucking like hit my head on, on my on my mouth. No, you would. <laughs> yeah, we know. On my fucking bed bed frame. Oh, yeah. like the back of your head? Yeah. Oh, you get you get your ass whooped for that. You hear that you know your dad would hear that shit. Oh, dude, my dad would, like, fuck? yell at me and I'd go in my room. Yeah, I fucking hate my dad. He doesn't let me do anything. Yeah, I, uh, I think junior year is the only year. No, I wasn't junior year. It was probably, like, freshman, sophomore year. I got mad and, like, did the classic wall punch. And like, That's the dumbest thing I've ever done. Why did I do that? Did he put on? Did Small. You a, then you put a hole because it was like there's jackets hanging, so I punched the jackets. You know what I mean? Oh, and, you, and you hit the wall. And then I was like, oh, man, dude. "Move the jackets, see in the hole." I Stupid. I punched. My name's Kyle, dude. And then and then the memes came out three years later. I was like, "Fuck!" I almost got through without punching the wall. Now Kyle memes are punching drywall, dude. Oh man, bro. And you knew you and you knew you I were fucked. Kyle, had you live secret. such a Kyle lifestyle. I really don't. No, you don't. I mean when you're down here you do. I guess. What's what is the Kyle lifestyle? Explain to me. Mountain Dew energy drinks. I and... feel like that's yeah, sipping energy drinks and driving oh, like a it. little shitty Honda. Wearing monster energy hats, you know what I mean? I ain't had that stuff. <laughs> Fucking, I'm like a step. I'm, I'm like a step right like, above that. Yeah. yeah, there's that, and then there's like the frat Kyle, which I'm neither one of those. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're 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 mid Kyle. You're not I'm, even close. I'm the that. only one. I'm the only one out here. Yeah, you're an OG Kyle, bro. When I got in a car accident, we were on our way back from Ohio to Arkansas. Christmas Eve, Ooh. blizzard, boom, got hit, bunch of snow, bald tires on my fucking, uh, what was that, Saturn, little Saturn L200, tiny, weighed like less than a thousand pounds, fucking bald tires, so I stopped at Walmart in like fucking middle of Indiana, middle of fuck nowhere, dude, I bought tires from him, name was Kyle, and he was like a bitch, he's not helpful at all. By bitch, you mean like, he was just fucking mean to you? No, no, he was like real quiet, not helpful, kind of like skittish at first, and then I'm like trying to just like talk, have conversation, be like, "What do you got for tires here?" <laughs> and then he ended up only having two tires, so that just made me mad. I was like, "Fuck that guy!" He only sold me two tires, and then about <laughs> ten miles down the highway, in and out. But I, I wasn't driving. And then you I spun driving. out 10 miles down the highway? Uh, no, I was probably like an hour into the trip. Because I drove for like another hour after that. That was like six hours in. And we were like maybe halfway. Normally it's like six hours. You're pretty breezing through. You Like you made it through. We had just gotten like an hour past Indianapolis. So like we were not making good time. But the snow had us going like 50 to 40 miles an hour on the highway. And then finally, I was like, all right, I'm going to take a shift. Like, you guys want to, like, somebody want to drive because I'm fucking white knuckle driving for the past six hours. Yeah. One of my buddies was like, at the time, buddies at the time, I should say. (laughs) Like, yeah, I got you. It's like, dude, just go slow. Make sure you stay, like, behind somebody because the fresh snow is where, like, it fucks you. You got to, like, stay in tracks. 
uh, and ends up like 10 minutes into him driving. He goes for like a pass, goes for another pass. And then we're in like, you know how it's like big groups on highway kind of sometimes? Yeah. Well, he gets to like the front damn near and there's a fucking semi leading the pack. He goes for the pass on the semi and then the semi behind us goes for the pass on that semi as well. So it's like double semis behind us as we hit this bridge. You know, the highway bridges, how they have a little bump. Yeah. Well, he did that and then it came down and I thought he was just like going back and forth on the highway because it was like, it took a second to spin out. He's like, whoa, what's going on? It all felt like slow motion. I was like, what are you doing? And then it was like, Shoo! started spinning. Uh... I think we spun around like, we did one full spin and then spun another half. So like a 540, I think, something like that. 540 degree turn and then caught in reverse and we were staring at two semis like coming at us and fucking he like looks at me puts it in reverse and then like fuck dude it's terrifying took it into the medium of the highway and you know uh like the barriers that are kind of wired it's not yeah. like the metal guardrails it's like the wired guardrails well, yeah. we ended up hitting those after we got off the medium going like Maybe 15. Like, he ended up slamming on the brakes in the grass and the mud. The mud slowed us down because it was snowy out. It was, dude, terrifying. Terrifying. It was, like, definitely went slow-mo looking at the two semis coming at us. And then I looked at him. And fucking the other buddy that was sleeping in the back woke up because he was, like, laying on the seats. He, like, woke up. It was, like, a movie. He, like, woke up and looked. And we just thought we were all dead for sure. It was, like, there are two semis. To the right side of the highway was like a big ditch, like a big ditch into a field. So like yeah. that was a big drop. And then the middle of the highway wasn't wasn't near as big of a ditch, but it was like a little bit of a divot. And then that barrier in the middle, like 10 feet, like 10 feet of grass, that barrier, and then 10 feet of grass on the other side before the other highway. So we like really caught the perfect spot. But that that fucking dude shouldn't have passed all the semis. Dude. It's fucking... <laughs> he didn't even speed we had two bald ass tires. This man was speeding in a blizzard. You were pissed. Terrifying. Dude, I was, I mean, I was glad to be alive. You know what yeah. I mean? Because then there for a second, it was like, there's no good way out of this. We're dead. Fucking dead. We can't just stop on the highway. And then we sat there for like, I'd say we were stuck there for probably 45 minutes. But right away, we were like, I told him to shut it off. Or it might have turned off on its own. Then we started it back up and we were trying to get out and the tires were spinning because it was muddy. And we had to get out and like start pushing it to try and get out from the fucking mud hole. And we got it a little bit closer, but we didn't want to just send it onto the highway. Yeah. So fucking we ended up kind of tripping out. Called the cops, told them like, hey, like we just crashed. We don't know what to do. Like you guys like want to direct us out in traffic. And they're like, oh, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. We'll try and see if we can make it. Just, like, <laughs> assholes. So they're coming, but like, we should probably get rid of our carts. We had some carts, we threw them, got rid of all of our. You guys were fried. Yeah, we were just pissed, fucking <laughs> tripping out. Ended up calling my mom. She was freaking out mom. too. She was, yeah, I mean, I had to tell her like, dude, we just crashed. Like, we're good, but like, what do we do here? We called the cops, and they said they're on the way. She's like, well, just wait, see if the cops come. We wait, like, 30, 45 minutes, and finally, just a random truck pulls over. It's like, dude, are you guys stuck here? Like, what's going on? It's like, yeah, we just crashed, spun out. It's like, well, follow me. I'll, like, slow traffic down for you. Just random good Samaritan fucking oh, helped yeah. us out. We ended up getting on the road. And the next town was Cloverdale, Indiana. So we ended up pulling off in Cloverdale, Indiana, and... My mom fucking got us a uh, holiday in for the night. So it's Aww. like one second we were fucking tripping, thinking we were going to die, crashing on the highway. And then like an hour and a half later, we were You guys are doing tub. cannonballs into the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were in a hot <laughs> tub, bro. It's like, it's fried. And then we. uh. So like did I, you guys have any weed, weed left? No, that's what I was about to say. We threw our weeds. We were like pissed. We we're like, dude. We're at this hotel where you can't get stones, so we had the genius idea to like go bounce around the stores in Cloverdale. We like went to Dollar General to get food, and we're like, Let's see if we can find a stoner here. <laughs> like, went got our shit, found the shady dude in the parking lot. We like played rock paper scissors, see who'd go ask him. 
Tomorrow, the dude that crashed ended up going to ask him. And uh, he's like, yeah, I can get you some weed, but it's in Indianapolis. We'll have to go. It's like an hour away. <laughs> he's like, just give me the money and I'll go. Like, what the fuck do you mean? Hell no. Like, we'll cut our losses. Say no. So we go to McDonald's. We're getting food there. And we see these, like, definitely, like, 16, 17 looking fucking year olds go order just only cookies. Like, they got a oh, big yeah. order of cookies. You knew they were smoking bro. weed. Yeah, we're really, like, bro, that's got to be it. But did the same thing. Played rock, paper, scissors. And the other buddy lost and went and asked him. They're like, no way, dude. We're waiting to get weed right now. Like, that's what we're doing. It's like, dude, no fucking way. And, uh, dude, that, one of those kids, I think one, I think it was Kyle and Lucas. I think one of those kids' name was Kyle as well. Okay. A lot From of Indiana. Kyles coming in to save dude, the day. It was strange. I'm pretty sure there's either his either his name was Kyle or it was Derek or something like that because it was one of our names. So then, uh, he had the same name as one of my buddies. You guys and, get uh, the weed? Yeah, my buddy Derek at the time ended up going with him. These fucking random sixteen year olds for like thirty minutes, forty minutes, or no, they both went. I stayed at the hotel, and uh, they ended up coming back. They're like, yeah, we were nervous for a little bit, but then. I think we made it, got the weed, and left. So, uh, yeah, so we smoked a blunt with those kids, and we only got like eight weed, but smoked a blunt with those fucking degenerate kids getting weed on Christmas Eve. <laughs> and then you guys came back. Yeah, I woke up in the morning, and it was like, fuck. My uh, taillights stopped working after that. Or no, not my taillights, but my turn signals. It broke that light. The taillights still worked, and we had to Get that red reflective tape. tape oh, it yeah. up it was plastic was shot, broken. Yeah, that car was a trooper. <laughs> well, at least you guys got back home. That was a, that was a story and a half. Sorry. That was crazy. Have you ever been in a car accident? Huh? Have you ever been in a car accident? And this car backed up into me at the gas station. <laughs> um, I bumped into a back... Into the back of a car at a Taco Bell. Whoa, that's incriminating. Did you tell him? Yeah. Um, somebody yeah. hit. Somebody backed up into me at the movie theaters, and then they tried to leave, and I fucking chased their car. <laughs> yeah, in like the movie theater parking lot, like there was people coming out of <laughs> the movie theater, and I was chasing down this car, like screaming, like, "Hey, hey, get your ass back here!" Oh, like on foot? Yeah, I was on foot. Yeah, let's go. And then I had we uh, like we classic video. Yeah, and then we like smoked before we went into the movie theaters. So my car smelled like weed, and I had a weed in in my car. So like I got the weed, I hit it, and I like hit it underneath a rock that was off <laughs> to the side of the parking lot. And then uh, bam. The guy came back after I chased him down. He's like, I didn't even know I hit you. And I was like, okay, well, come back. He's like, all right. So he came back, and then we looked at my car, but it was fine. What if he didn't hit you? Are you sure he hit you? Yeah, he hit me. We were all in the what car. I like, got out of the car, and I was like, what the fuck? And then he just started <laughs> driving away. And then I'm like, all right, check this out. We just got done watching Spider-Man. Which one? Uh, the one where they all show up, the newest one. I think the newest one. I think there might be one after that, but that is a good one. I don't know. That might be the newest one. I yeah, I was the all, Marvel series. I was all jacked up. I was like, I'm about to fucking go nuts. Yeah, hit and run. Fucking A. Dude, so we're doing this comedy skit in a couple of weeks, and I'm nervous for uh, this acting. Oh, he's really dropping gems right now. I mean, I'm not going to say what it's going to be about, but I'm nervous for the acting, like how, how we're going to do. We're basically getting auditioned by a big show. No. Large show. It's on Comedy Central. <laughs> yeah. This is, uh, we're going to be doing comedy skits. Where we're going to. Maybe, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, anyone else gonna do it? 
Yeah. No, you dumbasses are going to fucking step up to the plate and do something. Yeah, someone's got it. Creative. Yeah. I've seen this video. And it's like, the only way to become successful is to have courage. To do stuff that you're not comfortable doing. Truth. And I'm like, dude, that's us right now. Putting ourselves out super, there. Super, super uncomfortable right now. I'm I'm shaking in my fucking computer chair. All I want to do is play video games. Nah. You know what? I'm sad that I haven't I haven't played fucking video games and actually like since I've been here really. So like how long is that? Like four months? That's good though, dude. Video games are fun. It is. Like I'm pissed and I I love playing games and shit, especially with the homies. But living life is cool, you know? Yeah. You do a lot I'm, less when you just want to play video games all the time. Yeah. But I'm an avid fucking want to play video games guy. You know what I mean? I hop video on games are a long time. Really shit. The hours between like 11 to 3 a.m. playing games right then, that's like prime. Stone. Prime. Stoned as fuck. Yeah. yeah. Getting deep into some shit. See, I don't like fucking... Uh, I never finished Red Dead, man. Did you, did you play Red Dead 2? Yeah, Red Dead 2. Did you finish it? I played it halfway, and then I finished it watching the YouTube series. I did damn near the same thing, bro. And I, you know what? It makes me sad. That I it makes me so that sad that I didn't finish it. That game is so yeah, good. Yeah, it's so fucking good. Like, I fell so off good. single player games big time. Like, yeah. More of a time thing. If I'm not, dude, but that with game it, is so like, like it keeps it like the story is is amazing and the detail yeah, for that game it's so big. And you'd like to say like it'd be cool as a movie, but it's not gonna be as cool as playing the shit. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, because you literally get uh, to do whatever you want. Yeah, bro, it's so fire. It's so fun. It makes me so want to download it. Yeah, and I'm I, I got banned. Have I? I don't know if I've said yeah. this on the pod. I'm I got pretty banned sure they did, no but reason. they still fucked you. Yeah, I haven't called them, but I know that's the hardest shit ever to get a hold of PSN fucking support and get unbanned. Yeah. I didn't, it wasn't me. <laughs> Someone hacked me. I got hacked. I don't know what they were doing on there. But they got your oh, ass. Got my ass. They bought a game. I disputed it with the bank, got the money back. And then like two, three weeks later, I was banned permanently. I don't know if they correlate. It wasn't me. I haven't played games in fucking months. Shitty. But GTA 6 come, coming next year, I think. And NCAA football? I'm about to take a week off work. Yeah, I mean, that's just going to be another fucking sports game. It's college football, though. Yeah, true. I mean, if they do the story mode, oh. you know what I mean? Good. I feel like online... They don't switch. They don't switch anything up ever. So, the story mode when you fucking play as a high school football player. Yeah, see that shit'll be cool. That's the shit. I haven't played like any sports game like religiously in a hot minute like, forever. Yeah, I love playing sports games. You. It's the best thing. You know what I used to love. Hmm. Fucking SmackDown versus Raw, bro. <laughs> I used to go over to like my friend's house because I didn't have it when it first came out, and I would go over there and just tell him like, "Hey, we're gonna play this video game. I don't want to do anything else." Like, I swear, <laughs> if I'm over here, we're playing this. Mm-hmm. We'd play it for hours. See, that's the shit I'd have at my house, and then I'd go to friend's house, and they'd have like Grand Theft Auto Four and shit. Okay, like, playing that shit at my house, like. Growing up on the PS2, like, that was so fun. So fun. Like, doing the whole story mode and just making a fried-ass dude and just yeah. beating John Cena's ass. Dude, that's when you or can teaming up with John Cena. and chairs, and you can use... You can go out of the ring and, like, go up to the... Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was a fucking creative son of a bitch. I would always set that shit up, like, make a whole fucking... Whole gaggle of characters, fucking make a cool belt. You know, you can make a belt that one. Yeah, you could. Uh huh. Dude, that game was shit. shit. 
It was. I, dude, I used to be such a WWE kid. My dad I was like stay up till eleven on on uh, Mondays, and I would he bought me like the toys with the ring. Yeah, yeah. See, I I fucking played with the action figures and did that shit more than I watched the show because like when I watched it, I was like, it's kind of corny. Yeah, <laughs> I just want to see him fight. I don't want to see him yell at each other in drama. Even I as a kid, like, I was like, I I I. I, I, I. I would set up my fight. That was a bad one. That was a bad one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh dude. I would set up the so, ring as I'd watch the, the show. And I'd be going nuts. I had to be coming off the, the top best. of the couch. See, yeah, I'm pretty sure that shit would uh, come on near or around my bedtime. And I just didn't want to sacrifice the last hour going to sleep. Turning something on TV, you know what I mean? I remember that as a kid, just like, unless it was like fucking SpongeBob SquarePants special exclusive Halloween episode. <laughs> I remember that shit like it was yesterday. I swear. That fucking era of like 2005 to like 2000. And like I'd say 2005, 2010, honestly. Like, yeah, it was like Adventure Time and shit when that shit was coming. That Halloween, you know the Halloween oh, era? They, they were yeah. Doing shit, bro. Those oh. movies? Yeah, bro. Oh, yeah. That was fucking gas. What? What were those on? Were those on Disney? Everything. Uh, Disney would do them. Nick would do them. Cartoon Network would do them. Like, it was a they shit. They were all so good. I feel like Disney Halloween was Town? the famous. Dis- Disney was the, by far... Ah, Dude, Disney had Wizards of Waverly Place. Disney had, yeah, it was good. I feel like that was a, I don't know. There was more of a prime time that Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network had in my life. Yeah, right. those two had had all of my attention. Had a death group. I'd turn on Disney Channel if it was like some whack shit was on either one of the other two. Or if, uh, Sweet Life Zack Cody was on. That was weird. All right, fine. That was on Disney? Yeah. Yeah, it was. So was Hannah Montana. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I didn't see, watch had, Montana. They had a lot of bangers. No, I went to a babysitter, so yeah. I went to... I watched all that shit. Oh, I got 5% of my fucking rights up. Hey, you're good. All right, let's wrap up the show. Damn, we got to wrap up this fucking deep Nickelodeon conversation right now. <laughs> Dude, how about them? You know, they, like... They were doing some shit to those actors. Yeah, man, that's sad. That's sad to think that our childhood was like really just, covered in a veil of just diddling. Yeah. <laughs> Not good. Like every well, everybody we were watching on TV turned out to just like do drugs and get diddled. Yeah. They got <laughs> so diddled. A lot of diddling. And then Michael yeah, Jackson seen that, was diddling them. Have you seen that video of uh one of the kids from Sweet Like Sweet Life of Zack and Cody? I think it was Cole. Cole Sprouse. Like smoking. A... Yeah, I did see. Uh oh, I think he fucking. I think he lagged out. This might be the end of the pod. Yeah, Cole Sprouse was smoking cigs. Up to no good. Thanks for watching, guys. I think this is episode 18 or 19. We'll see you guys soon. Peace.